Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Jane and I'm a second year PhD candidate. So in today's video you'll see how I deal with unexpected disruptions to my plans. So if you watched my last video you'll know that one of my cell lines was contaminated with one of my other cell lines which was unfortunate so I had to throw all of them away. And so I'm currently in the process of either defrosting those cell lines if I had them frozen or making new versions of those cell lines, which is my priority because those are the cell lines that I need to do experiments with. So I also went on some other fun lab adventures this week. So yeah, enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday the 30th of September. I'm in the lab currently. I don't have a lot planned for today. Mainly I just need to send some emails to start lining up some upcoming experiments. I need to do some planning. I need to check my cells. The usual Monday stuff for me. Let's see what this day brings. My supervisor has handed over some cell samples to me that I will need to extract <coughs> protein from. Excuse the noise, that is an incubator turning on. So today I'm going to make up some gels and maybe run some protein today or tomorrow. Whenever I get time.
Good morning everyone! Today is Tuesday the 2nd of October. Um, I have a very very busy day in the lab. As usual yesterday didn't go according to plan for me, um, which is fine, but today I'm going to be running a few protein gels and doing some protein analysis and I'm currently in the process of getting some results. I... yeah, so fingers crossed that everything goes well today. Good morning everyone! Today is Wednesday the 2nd of October. Yesterday ended up being a really big day for me. I ran four gels for two different experiments so that I can get some protein results today. I'm super super lucky that yesterday I had one of my friends helping me out. So yesterday I had planned to make three new cell lines because of the cell lines that I had to chuck out last week, I need to remake three of them. And so, because I was so run off my feet running all of these gels yesterday, one of my PhD friends ended up helping me with making my new cell lines. So, if you're watching this Anam, thank you so much for your help yesterday. Um, and I'm sure she's watching this because she's such a huge supporter of mine. And I don't know what I would do without her. My number one recommendation for if you're thinking about doing a PhD is to find yourself some PhD friends who are supportive um, because it makes a world of difference to, to your ability to cope with the challenges of PhD life. So yes, thank you so much. And um, I ended up on my feet for too long yesterday and if I'm on my feet for too long during the day I have a problem where I get swelling in my ankles and usually I have to wear compression stockings for this but I forgot to wear them yesterday so I've got some pictures of my swollen ankles <laughs> oh that's hot that's hot they're a little bit difficult to see um, in the lighting that I took those pictures in but the swelling was quite bad. So I've got my compression stockings on today, um, but fingers crossed I won't be on my feet for too long today. Um, I'm also hoping for some good results, so <sighs> wish me luck. It appears as though I'm the first one in the lab again this morning. Maybe there are hints that maybe someone has been here before me or maybe late last night, which is not uncommon for when you work in a lab, but um, it's time to wash my blood. And now I'm just here. Hi, you know. <laughs> So I was just sitting at my desk minding my own business when I realized that my pants are tucked into my socks. I just learned that it's really, really hard to film your own ankles from the back. <laughs> So today the research assistant and another PhD student and I cleaned the chemical room together. So the chemical room is the room in which our chemicals are stored and there's various equipment in this room that 
um, like helps us weigh the chemicals out and mix the chemicals and do all sorts of interesting things. So it's 5.30 p.m. and I'm the last one in the lab so I thought I would give you a quick tour of our brand new clean chemical room. So over here in the corner we have our chemical cupboard and this is where all of our chemicals are stored. Um, our research assistant went through and organized all of these today and yes we use a lot of different chemicals there's so much stuff in here it's ridiculous over here is our flammable liquids cupboard and i'm pretty sure there's nothing in there uh, there's a few things in there isopropanol and things uh, over here we have our fine scales um, that go down to, I think it's like four or five decimal points for measuring very, very accurate, um, yeah, a very, very accurate measurement of chemicals. Over here we have some paddle pop sticks, a funnel on the far left, some small way boats, medium way boats, and large way boats. So the way boats are what we weigh out solid chemicals in and the paddle pop sticks help us to get those solid chemicals out. And so these are non-fine scales, so I think they go down to maybe two or three decimal points. Um, we have some Kim wipes that are basically super absorbent tissues. We have our, dis um, our tip bucket where used tip go, tips go from Pipette's calculator. This is our pH meter that we use to measure the pH of um, different things. Um, this nifty little thing here is our mixer. So it's a magnetic mixer. Uh, we have these little magnetic bars that go into the solution that you want to mix. And then you turn the mixer on and there's a little magnet in under here that I think it must spin around, which then causes the magnet inside the buffer you want to mix to spin around, and then it gets mixed that way. And so here we have some more scales and more way boats and some more tissue and uh, a dustpan and brush for cleaning up solid chemicals that we spin. Um, spill, I mean. And so this is our chemical room. Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday the 3rd of October. I don't actually have a lot planned for today. Um, I'm going to pop downstairs and check my cells and update my lab book and maybe read some papers and do some planning. Yeah, so I guess we'll see what today brings. One eternity later. Good morning everyone! Today is Friday the 4th of October. Thank goodness it is Friday. I am so looking forward to this weekend because it is a long weekend and I am so keen to have three days off. So yesterday I ended up making some buffers which was pretty cool because I got to take some cool videos of that and I also spent a few hours um, sorting out my freezer inventory of my cells so i have two freezer inventories one is in a minus 80 degree freezer 80 degrees celsius that is and the other is in liquid nitrogen so i'm preparing to take a lot of my cell lines from minus 80 down to liquid nitrogen 
maybe today, hopefully today, maybe next week. Um, but before I did that, I needed to, yeah, check my inventories and make sure they were up to date because we have limited storage in the liquid nitrogen. So I don't want to completely fill it with cells. Um, so I spent a few hours doing that. Today I've got lab meeting first up and then maybe liquid nitrogen and some cell culture and basically making sure my cells are going to be okay for the long weekend and yeah, wish me luck. Happy Friday. So I hope you enjoyed all the adventures that I went on in the lab this week. The good news is that the cells that I brought up from the freezer are still looking pure. I'm quite confident that they are pure cell lines, um, which is really good news for me because it means that the, cell, uh, the frozen stocks that I have of those cells will be pure. I'm currently in the process of making three new cell lines as well because I didn't have them frozen from when I made them last time. So they will be take about two weeks, two more weeks to make. Fingers crossed that that goes well, but we'll see how they're looking next week. I didn't get a chance to go down to liquid nitrogen this week because I ended up much busier than I expected. So hopefully I'll get a chance to go down to and take some cells down to liquid nitrogen next week. I finally, finally got my lab book up to date, um, which it was quite out of date and took me some time to completely update. So that's a relief for me because I think it's really important to have an up to date lab book so I know exactly what I've done and exactly what I'm doing in the lab. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and happy sciencing.